Hey guys, it's me Sujo over here. Welcome back to another video. So on this video, I'm going to be talking about which one should you visit first, Vietnam or Thailand. So if you're new to my channel, the name of my channel is called Sujo in Vietnam. I've been living over here for over seven years now. I was an English teacher before for four years. And then I started my online business. And I'm also a full-time YouTuber. So if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel it takes us a two seconds just hit the subscribe button uh, and that way you can support my work so i'm going to be talking about this topic uh, this this has been a request from one of my subscribers uh, she actually reached out to me and she asked me to make a video um, because she's never traveled to asia and uh, she stays back in the states and she's planning to make her first Southeast Asia trip. So, um, you know, I'm making this video um, so that, you know, she can have a better understanding or if you're traveling from West, if you're traveling from the West, if you're traveling from Europe, or is if this is going to be your first time Southeast Asia travel, then I think you should watch this video because this is going to be pretty much uh, like consider this like a guide. Uh, like a handy short guide, okay? So let me just have a bit of my coffee. <sighs> Better. Okay, so before I continue with this video, I just want to let you know is that I've been living here in Vietnam for over seven years and I've also traveled to Thailand on and off for five years now. So um, I'm just going to be talking about my personal experience and I think this is going to be really um, helpful for you. So to give you the short answer, uh, which country to travel first in Southeast Asia, um, my answer, my honest answer is going to be go to Vietnam first. OK, so if you're flying down to Southeast Asia, first go to Vietnam because uh, Vietnam is a country which is still very raw and, you know, you're going to really experience the true Asia. OK. Uh, it's like considered like kind of uncharted territory, but it's still very raw. Okay. Um, you know, if I were you, I would first go to Hanoi. That would be my first pit stop in Vietnam. And then I would go gradually down to the south uh, to Ho Chi Minh, uh, also formerly known as Saigon. So I would go to Hanoi. Then I may go to Hawaii, Hoi An, Da Nang. Dalat, um, and then you know, go to Saigon, and of course, Nechang, uh, you know, um, so cover up all those locations so that you know you can have a true flavor of Vietnam, you know, so it's like a true flavor of Asia. Now, why do I say this? Um, you know, like this is going to be it's going to like coming to Vietnam uh, as your first Southeast Asian travel destination is going to be very culturally rich okay because um vietnam is still very culturally rich uh, it's a very traditional deep-rooted country um you know many people they're very culture family oriented and you know you're going to have that culture shock of course you know like you're going to see a lot of motorbikes out here a lot of traffic and everything uh which you have never experienced back home or anywhere else so uh, and of course, um, the natural landscapes, okay? So the more you're in the north, like if you're in the north of Vietnam, it's even more, um, I mean, you can really find the richness of the natural landscape. And of course, once you're coming down, you're coming to other locations in Vietnam down south, you'll also experience a lot of natural landscape. So still, it's like a very untapped, I would say, uh, still very, untapped kind of a market, you know, like um, you'll see a lot of natural landscape. I mean, don't get me wrong, you do get a lot of tourists out here in Vietnam. Um, but uh, if I compare that with Thailand, it's a different story altogether because Thailand wins it anytime, any day. Um, but I'm just talking about um, certain things which you need to know. Uh, and of course, you know, you should try the cuisines over here. Like if you go, you know, popular one is when you come to Vietnam, you should try the pho, uh, you know, if you're in Hanoi, uh, which is going to be your first pit stop, make sure to try the pho, 
um, in Hanoi and also try the egg coffee and a lot of different um, dishes, Vietnamese dishes like bun cha and all those other uh, dishes. So it's going to be a very unique experience for you. Um, I mean, I'm going to be very honest with you is that uh, Vietnam is still opening up for tourists, okay? It's not a very, I mean, the majority of the economy here in Vietnam does not revolve around tourism, unlike in Thailand, where like, you know, um, when I when I travel in Bangkok or if I, I mean, I was in Pattaya and everything um, in those locations, it's very tourist focused, right? Um, you know, so they have a lot of, a lot of things which are set up for the convenience of foreign tourists, um, which uh, you will not find a lot out here in Vietnam. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you come to Ho Chi Minh City or if you go to, uh, you know, like uh, major cities here in Vietnam, downtown city, yes, you do have like tourist attractions and everything. But I wouldn't say it's compared. It's, 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 it's that I wouldn't say it's as far as in Thailand, where it's very, very tourist uh, focused, all right? Because, you know, like the majority of the economy in Thailand uh, revolves around tourism. So um, that's one thing. Yeah, so it's going to be a unique experience for you. Uh, and of course, you know, I mean, if you're a person of color, um, like, you know, like if you are, you know, if you're, if you're uh, you know, like you're not a white person or you know, like you're a person of color, you have like dark brown skin or, you know, um, Vietnam, uh, uh, don't get me wrong. It's, I mean, in general, people are nice, but it's, it could be, it, it, it can be challenging for you to move around. Um, I mean, I hate to say this, but yeah, I mean, you do have a lot of white privilege over here in Vietnam, but, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a bit difficult for you. All right. So like, you know, not everyone speaks English over here um, in, in Vietnam. And of course, as a person of color, you may uh, encounter, um, you know, a bit of challenges out here. I mean, I don't want to get into the details, but you will feel that kind of friction, right? Because uh, Vietnam is not completely tourist focused market. Um, I mean, this is from my personal experience. But um, yeah, make make first first make your stop to Vietnam. I mean, experience the real Asia, uh, and of course, yeah, you got to be also be a, a bit uh, wary of uh, the scams over here. Because I personally feel the scams out here in Vietnam is much higher uh, compared to um, in Thailand, where um, you know I, I've never felt kind of scammed out in Thailand, but here in Vietnam you got to be very careful. You know there are different forms of scams, especially if you're hanging around tourist locations or if you are also taking up accommodations and everything. Just be very careful, you know, because they may give you some kind of a room which is not there in the picture or whatever. So uh, be careful of that. But in terms of affordability wise. Definitely, Vietnam is much affordable compared to Thailand. Um, I would say Vietnam is cheaper in terms of um, food and um, food and transportation. So, um, if you are especially out here in major cities like in Hanoi or if you're in Da Nang or if you're in Ho Chi Minh, um, yeah, it's pretty much you know you can use the Grab application. Uh, what I like about here in Vietnam is everyone wears the helmet. Um, yes, you do. You need. You do need to worry about the road safety and um, also about um, you know you do have a lot of petty thefts, crimes, and everything. Um, so yeah, be careful of your valuables and your items. So because um, in terms of uh, theft, security wise, um, yeah, uh, I don't think Vietnam has a very good track record. But because uh, in Thailand, I found it to be very safe. Um, I didn't have any issues whatsoever, you know, I mean, um, I mean, especially when I was in Bangkok or, you know, when I was in, because yeah, I've been in, ba I mean, I was staying in Bangkok predominantly, but I, I didn't have any issues whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, but uh, definitely uh, I do first go to Vietnam first, because uh, that's going to be like, you know, you're going to be exposing yourself to the real Asia. I mean, like real raw, uncharted um, you know, 
uh, you really experience the real Southeast Asia. So after you cover Vietnam, uh, then yes, definitely go to Thailand. Thailand is going to be more simplified for you when it comes to tourist friendliness. Um, there are a lot of convenience for a lot of foreign tourists. Uh, you get a lot of ATMs. Um, there are a lot of 7-Elevens in Thailand, wherever you go. Um, it's more structured, more developed compared to Vietnam, for sure, anytime, any day. Uh, especially if you're in Bangkok, uh, transportation is not going to be an issue for you. Um, yes, uh, Bangkok, if you're going to Bangkok, um, compared to Ho Chi Minh City, Bangkok is way bigger, um, you know, it's more stretched out. Um, so yeah, you got to use a lot of, I mean, if you're not, so when, I, when I'm in Thailand, when I'm in Bangkok, I use the Grab, so, um, you know, and also I use the BTS, so well connected, you have the metros and everything, which um, um, the metro system, when I talk about in Vietnam, you only right now have it in Hanoi. <coughs> <clears throat> you only have it in Hanoi right now, but um, I didn't find the Hanoi metro to be very big, but they're supposed to come out with the metro system out here in Saigon. So um, hopefully it comes out this year. I mean, I would love to see how the metro system is out here. And, um, you know, I'll also document myself, um, you know, enjoying a nice metro ride out here in Ho Chi Minh. But yeah, rest assured, if you're in Thailand, especially in Bangkok, a big metropolitan city, um, pretty well connected, you know, a lot of transportation, see a lot of skyscrapers, um, you know, you'll get a lot of um, tourists, pubs, bars, predominantly catered to a lot of uh, Western expats and everything. So yeah, you can, you can enjoy that like kind of lifestyle. Don't get me wrong, in Vietnam, you do also have rooftop bars, um, you know, you do also have um, places where you can enjoy um, cheap beer and all that but um i think thailand would be hands down when it comes to you know catering for western tourists i mean like having a lot of western bars and everything um so yeah i mean so the tourist infrastructure is much better in um thailand so you wouldn't have much problem because you know everything is in english and, you know, uh, unlike here in Vietnam, where it could be challenging for you to move around if you're not in um, metropolitan, if you're not in um, um, major cities out here in Vietnam or if you're outside the tourist location. So communication, communicating in English will be challenging for you. You may get scammed. Um, uh, people may take advantage of you. Thailand, definitely, they have they do have friendly. Um, you do have that friendly vibe. And, you know, like you feel like, you know, of course, you know, you see a lot of tourists, international tourists. So you feel more at you feel more comfortable. I mean, don't get me wrong here in Vietnam, if you're in downtown city and tourist locations, you do have a lot of tourists. But I wouldn't say the tourist infrastructure is that better compared to what it is right, what it is in Thailand. Um, and also, um when I, when I talk about the visas, right, um, Thailand is more tourist friendly um, um, when it comes to providing visas. They do have like digital nomad visas. Um, they do have retirement visas. They do have different forms of visas. visas. And lately, uh, recently, uh, just recently, Thailand has announced that they're coming up with the 60-day uh, visa exemption or many countries, uh, India is included, because I myself am I'm from India. Uh, whereas if you're traveling in Vietnam, you do only have, as a tourist, you only have two options. You can come on a one month visa, or you can come on uh, the 90 day visa, but um, you need to apply for it before coming to Vietnam. So you need to get an e-visa. So that may take anywhere around um, four working days to 10 working days. Um, and of course, filling up the uh, visa form is also a bit complicated. Uh, whereas in Thailand, you can just pack your bags, go to Bangkok, or go to, go anywhere in Thailand. You know, it's visa free, so um, you can stay. Um, you know, like you just need to show a return ticket, and you know, like so you can just hop onto a flight and fly fly down to Thailand. So. Yeah, I mean, the first, I think the first option would be the first, the first thing which you should do is visit Vietnam first, 
experience the true Southeast Asia, uh, raw, completely uncut, um, and then of course come down to Thailand. And just a quick one to add is that I think the weather in Vietnam is cooler compared to in Thailand because you know if you're if, when I was in Bangkok it was extremely very hot. I mean it depends on different types of tourists. Like there are many tourists. Um, you know, especially from Europe, um, you know, they like to come to Thailand to experience the sun, the beaches and everything. So, uh, but for me, uh, I prefer a bit of um, cool weather because, uh, you know, I come from India and in my country, it's also very hot. So I prefer to also experience a bit of uh, different seasons. Like, you know, I like to experience the rainy season and everything. So, which you actually do get it in Vietnam. So if you're in Hanoi, you will experience all the four seasons. Um, um, but in, um, in Saigon, it's going to be, I think, two seasons, the rainy season and the summer season, but it's not as hot as compared to in Thailand, uh, especially in Bangkok, where you don't even feel the, feel the wind, um, you know, during the summertime. So, yeah, I mean, let me know, um, let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Um, you know, um, you know, if you're traveling into, if you're right now in Vietnam, let me know how your experience is. Um, or if you have traveled in both of these countries, which one do you think you should, we should travel, um, you know, we should travel first. Uh, I mean, do you have, did you have any challenges uh, in any of these countries? So I would love to hear from you. Yeah, so if you like watching this video, make sure to like this video and all the good stuff. Uh, and also, if you found this video to be informational, you can always buy me a coffee. The link is down in the description below. And if you're traveling around in Southeast Asia and you want to start a successful online business, uh, you can check out the link down in the description below. It's a free webinar uh, a masterclass workshop invitation, free to join. So you can check that out. So, yeah, with that being said, you guys have a great day and uh, enjoy your travel to Southeast Asia. This was me, Sue Joy. Peace out.